Hello, my name is Deborah from Madison and I'm really looking forward to showing you around this lovely property here behind me in this Blackhurst Park. This is a beautiful property. It was built in 1836. Um, fabulous sort of sandstone, Cotswold stone, really beautiful. And the Grange, which I'm going to show you, is this sort of last section of this, so a really substantial portion. You've got three allocated parking spaces. Situation's great, you're really close for easy access to the road network and Tumbridge Road is on your doorstep. And you can see you've got this lovely private little entrance, so little outside area here, nice convenient storage. And there's the front door, which we'll show you around inside now. So welcome to this really fabulous entrance hall in this beautiful property, Georgian roots, so really great architecture throughout and you'll see that in the lovely ceiling heights and the expanse of the rooms. This, I think you'll agree, is a really lovely welcoming entrance hall. The library slash dining room straight ahead and over to the left is the really spectacular sitting room. So this is an enormous space, really, really generous. You've got separate space for study, home study over there. Lovely big seating area, that fabulous fireplace, a really beautiful room. And you can see flanked by windows on two sides. The property is grade two listed, so many of the original period features are intact. And we'll give you a span back there. You can see the nice double doors that we came in at. And then you've got a French door here on the left, which goes outside. We'll show you that shortly and explain how the boundaries lie. Fitted with a nice oak floor. And this is the library or dining room, uh, which we saw as we came in through the entrance hall. Another big room, got a lovely fireplace there, big windows to the front, and lots and lots of fitted shelving and cabinetry, both on the wall that you're seeing and behind me now. So heading along this inner hallway, the kitchen just there, which we'll go back to in a second, just to show you the downstairs cloakroom. Nicely fitted, good generous size, and into the kitchen. So this is a really lovely, big, expansive space. You've got those three lovely sash windows there. The kitchen area down here, so nice tiled floor, lovely quality shaker units, granite tops, and then a separate seating area just up there. Lovely to have this kind of divide. So integrated appliances, including washing machine, dishwasher, the oven, hob and hood and the fridge freezer are all included. And look at this, yeah, great. Big wine collection, lovely big table, pretty taking advantage of the, the windows and then looking down onto this lovely big kitchen and the driveway there to the front. So let's now head up the steps. So we've just come up five steps to this sort of inner land and you can see the beautiful hallway beyond going through the drawing room, the kitchen just off to the left to give you your orientation. And over to the right here is the study. And this is really great space. It's a nice size for a study. You've got um, home working for two desks and lots of storage for books as well. And so nice to have it sort of tucked away quietly. And then we're now going to go up the rest of the steps and we'll take you to the bedroom accommodation. So here we are now on this lovely big landing. As you can see, more books. This is a family that love books. Lovely views out there, which will show you the ground shortly. It's really great. And you've got four bedrooms and three bathrooms. So let's go to the first of the bathrooms. This is the family bathroom and a really nice generous size. You can see that you could easily fit a shower cubicle there. And let's now show you the first of the bedrooms. Then over to the other side. Bedrooms are so pretty in this property. I love that sort of feature curved um, wall there, or the wall at the angle, sorry. Um, so peaceful and quiet and all beautifully presented. Got good storage in this property. There's a loft access just above me and downstairs quite a few cupboards for under stairs and cloaks. Next one of the bedrooms, another great size, looking to the road at the front there, got a double and a big wardrobe. And then to the last of the bedrooms before we head into the master bedroom. And this one's got lovely views out to the rear, which we'll just quickly show you. And 
and its own dedicated ensuite there with a shower, so nice for guests. And let's now take you round to the master bedroom, just a good uh, linen cupboard in there. So this is the ensuite that shares, serves the master. This master feels like a real privilege. Also, when you see it, it's pretty special. So you've got a shower room with a toilet. So that door there that you see ahead of you goes out onto the roof terrace at the front of this property. And then here is the master bedroom. Now this is a lovely big size, got a big four poster, more loft storage there. You can see it's got a raised area, which is for, they've set up a sort of separate little seating area. And then windows on both sides. So windows to the front overlooking that lovely roof terrace, which we'll just show you now. It's a pretty little area to have, lovely to have that off your bedroom. And then over, to the rear, just fabulous views again, looking out on the land of this property, it's really beautiful. And you can see that nice, useful seating area. So we're now out in the private garden space of this lovely property. The boundaries sit where the walls, the two side walls end uh, and go down to the Ha Ha, which is just where you might be able to see some daffodils down there. You also have use though of all the other land that sits on your doorsteps here, but that is your private bit. You can't put fences up because of the grade two listing, but you really don't need to. There's very sympathetic planting and really courteous and, and uh, polite neighbours. There's a great spirit in this property. Let's give you a swing around you it's lovely big sort of Italian style terrace um, that's the study there that room that you're just looking onto there now there's the inner hallway the bedrooms above it that door from the drawing room and round there lovely seating there this place is full south lovely pond here which you can hear the little fountain beautiful beautiful views and we'll just walk down to show you that lovely space that you've got down there you've got a right to roam across nine acres here so it's a really lovely, generous space and you feel incredibly private when you're here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the Grange here on Blackhurst Park. It's a great property with a lot to offer. What I love is the sheer amount of space that you're getting. Nice price point. Um, some might be deterred by the fact that it's attached, but you don't feel that at all when you're inside. And indeed outside, you've got very own private spaces and all this lovely communal grounds to enjoy. It's got a really lovely neighborhood community here, very friendly, you feel very secure. And you've got the best of both worlds in my mind. You've got the town on your doorstep and a beautiful rural idyll in your actual home and presented to a really high standard. And how wonderful to live in that Decimus Burton architecture. That's pretty special. We asked our owners what they thought and they said, we've loved living and raising two children in this gated Decimus Burton estate, which has given us amazing spaciousness and security, along with easy school access and daily commuting. And now is a great home study and office. Our absolute favourite room is the huge Italianate terrace in an elevated position over the Kent High Weald. Great for parties, drinks and coffee with sun from 7am to 7pm. Let's remind you of that glorious view and I hope that you would like to come and have a look at it yourself. If you would, give us a call.